Good morning, everybody. I think it's October 13th at about 9.50 a.m. Um, how are you? Um, I did find my glasses in the car. I thought I had lost them. These are actually my spares because I just found them this morning. So, and I usually bring two sets of iPhones, one for calling uh, my clients, but uh, I left that calling clients at home. But I've got a lot of stuff to cover today, you guys, okay? First of all, I want to tell you, I think I broke my little toe. I'm almost positive I did. It's turning purple and it's very painful, but I'll wait. I don't think they can do anything for a broken toe. Um, I mean, if it's unbearable, I'll go to the doctors. It's pretty hot to touch too. So um, I'm just keeping it stable. And um, I also tore my meniscus in my right knee when I was in Oklahoma, which comes and goes, the pain comes and goes. I have to be the careful the way I walk. So when I was driving in today, I asked Spirit, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> and um, they basically told me to look down, which is weird. But by looking down, they also mean stop looking towards the future and be present, which I practice pretty much, but I've been getting so busy with so many details and we all, you all know what I'm talking about. We tend to constantly look at the future. And there's a lot of things that came up on Trump that caused a, a disease in me, a, you know, like dis-ease. Um, like what he said about Robert E. Lee, being like fantastic, he was fantastic. But uh, uh, the president, uh, <laughs> he's so, it's unbelievable as I repeat. I'm not saying this, you guys, to say, oh, look at that idiot. I'm just saying it is so freaking outrageous. He was saying that Abraham Lincoln, you know, was phobic. Hello, let's talk about phobic. Uh, he's very, very phobic about everything. And then, um, you know, they're lying about Medi-Cal, saying that the Democrats are trying to um, take it away from them. Medicare. That's, it's a total lie. I mean, he sits up there and lies. So in that anxiousness, it, and we got to be careful because it can cause us to be really upset. Um, this energy form that's with me reminded me that... He is so involved with himself. Okay, when we're little, when we're babies and we come into this world, we have sort of an identity form, our self form. And that's based on your environment, the parents, etc. And to get deeper, which I will when I, we do the Sedona trip, some of it's past life related too, or what agreements you made before you came here. But you know, you guys, the in order, if you look at the 20th century and see how evil the human can be, this is all about ego form. This is all about, you've got to fulfill, like when you're a little and you say, my toy is bigger than your toy, that makes you a feeling of, identi of identifying yourself like you're special or you're something else. And that's when we start getting into conflict because conflict makes you feel more important than you really are. So, um, and if you look at the history of mankind, there you go. We're always seeking for something outside of ourselves when it's always inside yourself. And I know some of you won't understand this, but this is what my guides were telling me because I'm kind of going outside of myself a lot, which isn't helping my vibrational energy or even my ability to read. But future doesn't really represent who we are, being present being content in the godliness of ourselves is where the true peace, no relationship, nothing is going to make you whole. Nothing outside of yourself is going to make you whole. You have to stand in presence within, and that is the manna from heaven. That's when the good stuff starts coming to you. That's when the information starts flowing through. He, Eckhart Tolle even talks about masters, 50 years, forever searching, say, I'm never going to find it. Well, hello, what's it? You don't have to go out there to find it. You don't have to go 
study with masters in India to find it, that the kingdom of heaven is within, okay? I cannot emphasize that enough. And nobody was more ego-based, looking for something, thinking a relationship was going to save me. That's just not how it works. And when you start quieting your mind and start being present, you'll notice things really sort of take off. So it's case in point, this thing that's going on. I didn't want to do these videos, but as you re remember, they my guide said, no, you will calm them down. That's exactly the words they said. And I was thinking, well, nobody's going to watch my videos, but they did. Okay, so I'll get more into that in Sedona for those who are interested in, in those little tidbits that make you whole. <laughs> and, uh, you know, even when I'm reading, sometimes it's very hard for me to read people that really are still thinking something outside of themselves will heal them. The cool thing is when I'm reading people, I energy-wise, even from those on the other side, that family, they show what beautiful light is around that person and how special that person is. Because you're all special and we all need feedback, you guys. Nobody was more ego-based with feedback. I appreciate all your love and attention, but you know, I can't identify, I'm not supposed to, It's I'm not finding it hard. It's just, it just flows. It's almost like it identifies to me that the information I'm receiving is correct. And that I appreciate when you write me and tell me, gosh, Linda, you know, this one girl wrote me and said, it took two years for this, this thing that happened in my life down to the, the minute, min minuscule detail came true. I'm not as gung-ho about reading in future probably as they, I mean, I don't, I think the only reason they're giving me this is just to calm you all down. But breathe and be present and that'll help you out a lot. Okay, first case in point today, because we have some stuff to go through. I got a letter here at Angel Heart from a Kenneth in San Antonio, Texas. And Kenneth um, was wanting to know how come he can't find me on Patreon. Kenneth, I am not on Patreon, so look no more. I don't do Patreon. If, if you subscribe to the YouTube, you'll get it. I don't do Patreon, no intention of doing Patreon. I think as soon as we're over all this drama, um, I mean, maybe you guys will still want me to do some things coming up, but I, I feel like my job is done as soon as uh, Donald Trump is out of office. He is so unconscious, you guys. That's, that's the prime example in his little minions around him. It's really sad, but that's the prime example of being unconscious. But because he is as written, which means he was supposed to be there. I know it sounds crazy. He is, it's causing a, 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 an actual cleansing. That's the one good thing about the earth or the human consciousness. Even with the ugly that comes in, a cleansing occurs. And, and a lot of his past life related. Because I'll tell you, a lot of the Confederates came back in the 60s for the uh, civil rights. So a lot of white men from the Confederate energy came in and worked for, um, and were black men or women. It, it, it always, yin yang, it always balances itself out. So, um, also Robert E. Lee, you know, he was talking about how much he loves Robert E. Lee. And I, when I was driving, I kind of got a hit on Robert E. Lee, although I feel like he's, he, and I think that's when my energy started to focus in on well-being and being present. But there was, um, he was trying to tell me psychically, if I got this right, that um, a little touch of what they were feeling, and it was really, they really thought they were right. Um you know, even my dad, uh, he was young when World War II happened, but his dream was to fight in World War II, um, to kill. That was their, that was the energy. That's the way the United States was. Yeah, let's get rid of, you know, the Germans and all this. It, it, it was the collective consciousness, and he was very disappointed the war stopped because then he couldn't be in it. So it's weird, huh? But that's the collective consciousness. So remember, Robert E. Lee, although he was shaking his head. I wonder if he smoked because I keep seeing like this. Uh, he's shaking his head about Donald Trump, you know. 
it's not true. It's not that he was brilliant. I mean, he was brilliant in some ways, but the consciousness of everybody was that, that by God, we will have slaves and that's all there is to it. So anyway, we are growing, ladies and gentlemen. So anyway, Mr. Ryder, W, oh wait, I won't say his last name, sorry. Mr. Kenneth. <laughs> um, there is, okay, so he wanted to know about the Dow Jones, that every psychic medium has said it will fall and cause concern. Um, I'm not seeing as bad as what happened in 2008, although I do see, let me take a look, okay? So this is for Kenneth. The stock market coming up. It started to fall and then it adjusts and it's gonna start to fall again. And I don't know if you guys heard, and I'll take a look at that too. Did you know that Saudi Arabia, that king, would only talk to Jared when all this stuff was going on? He insisted he would only talk to Jared, which is like, oh my God, it's really sad. So, yeah, I don't feel Donald will do anything. He's saying... Oh, no, we're not going to pass up billions of dollars they're going to pay for. Yeah, you know, if you sell your soul for those billions, you need to pass it up. So I might take a look at Saudi Arabia, too. It's a beautiful place, you guys. There's some people I know that live there. And it's very sad that this one person coming in has turned so ugly. But that's money can corrupt, you guys. Okay, so tell me about the stock market. Kenneth wants to know. Tell me about the stock market. Tell me about the stock market. Can you give me any other information? It's stressing right now, okay? The the upping of the, I mean, we're still not paying the interest like we used to pay. I think I bought my first house at 11%. Um, Okay, so they're telling me to tell everybody not to worry. This feels like a, a downfall, but it's not a crash, like horrible, horrible. But it's an adjustment. It feels like it takes nine months to get itself sorted. We might even see by this next summer some fluctuation. There, I think when the new president comes in or the new administration comes in, they're going to strengthen strengthen it up. It's going to be, um, you know, the money is coming out of Washington, you guys. So pretty soon they will manage to make sure that people are independent and not driven by corporations, etc. I don't know how they're going to do that, especially with that SCOTUS in there now. Oh, SCOTUS is going to change, they just said to me. Okay, thank you. This whole SCOTUS energy is going to change, you guys. I mean, they just voted against indigenous people with voting, so it's pretty sad. Okay, so, but don't worry, you guys. It's going to, it's going to, I'm going to tell you, look. So it's going to be, we're going to, get, we're going to get added strength. I think it's going to go down again, and when we bring it back up, it's more steady. It's more, you know, my son talks about this, that eventually, you know, most of the jobs will be gone because they're all automated. And we'll get something, I think it starts with a C, that everybody gets a certain amount of money. Uh, not Social Security or anything will be involved, a certain amount of money. And um, if we want to work and do more, to have more money, we can do it. So I don't know how that, he's, he talks about it. I guess he gets it on his iPod stuff he listens to. I don't know. I don't think it'll happen in my lifetime. Okay, all right. I think they're testing it out in some city as we speak. Okay, so Kenneth, it will, but don't worry, it's not horrible. This high that's at now is false. It's gonna adjust itself. Okay, now I got an email from um, Work in Progress. Okay, and I loved her email um, because she gave me a list of things 
to look at, and I think you guys will be interested, okay? Let's start with the first one. Gover Gover governorships, Florida, Andrew Gillum. She wants to know how they'll fare in the following races. Andrew Gillum, Florida. Oh, that's the one that has the bad water, I think. Give me Andrew Gillum. We ask in peace, harmony, not wishing ill on anyone. Andrew. Andrew, are you going to make it to be Florida's new governor? Yes or no? Andrew, are you going to make it to be Florida's new governor? Yes or no? No. Oh. It says, as prophesied, which usually means yes. You know, um, it shows some underhandedness, something under the table, something. It could be because of those hurricanes. But with the Ace of Swords as the outcome, and with the star as the collective consciousness, and the Wheel of Fortune as the basis, I would say, yes, that justice works on his side. And I feel he comes in like ready to change things out or make things, you know, better. He comes in with the sword. So I think he comes in ready to work. Um, remember, we're going to get a lot of stuff that's happening that's not so good. Um, the five of swords means the administration itself will fall apart, which you can be gleeful about it, but it's a lot of stuff, you guys, that's coming out. But he's got the uh, eight of wands, which means victory. So, yeah, I would say yes. Stacey Abrams in Georgia. She was just on MSNBC this morning, I think. Stacey Abrams. Which means that guy, Kemp, will he be able to steal this? Stacey Abrams in Georgia. I see a lot of people gathering, and it's they're angry. Stacy, are you going to win as governor of Florida? Stacy, are you going to win as governor of Florida? Ooh, absolutely 100%. Now she's 100% guaranteed. She's 100% guaranteed. And I think this drama that Kemp's causing is actually going to work against him. I see some lawsuits and stuff after this. I see some stuff. So K Andrew is not as positive as Stacy is. Andrew feels like he's going to go through a little better or they're going to try to finagle something. Stacy's like, boom, she's doing it. Okay, California. Diane Feinstein for senator. Now, Diane was not chosen, I think, by the Democrat. They chose the, that other guy. There's another guy that's up. Because Diane's getting old, you know. God love her. But I think she's a good... I've always loved her. She, If I ever have a problem, she's always been there. As far as my, you know, need to have help with something. Her or her staff helps me. like Safeway didn't agree to my 25 cent coupon for my coffee. No, I'm just kidding. I don't go there. That's like, but there's people that go there, you guys. Okay, so what can I tell Diane? Is Diane gonna run as California? I wish I could remember what the other guy looks like, but sometimes when I picture them, I know. Diane Feinstein, are you gonna win, Diane? Yes. Diane Feinstein will definitely win. I think this will be her last run, but she'll definitely win. And listen, I don't see her, I see her moving and flowing because there's going to be a lot of younger people coming in. The younger folks are going to take over. But I see, because whenever our new president comes in or our new administration, I see a lot of the people, you know, the older people, 
Like I even don't see Chuck Schumer there, but I'm almost feeling like the people will be coming in and having them be part of the administration and advisory boards and stuff like that. It's gonna be more the youth. Not that they're perfect, but you know what I'm saying. North Dakota, Heidi. I give money to her, you guys. Let me look at Heidi. Heidi, are you gonna win in North Dakota? Set it up so you won't, especially the Supreme Court voting against the Indians. Heidi. Heidi, are you gonna win? Heidi Heitkamp, she's the one that voted no on uh, Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's really not liked, you guys, so I, I, I don't think that... The Republicans are throwing money at anything they can do to make people look bad. Heidi, are you going to win? Yes or no? Ooh. Okay, hers doesn't look as good, you guys. No. Her cup's turned over and she's got the ten of swords. They really are going to work against her. I'm. It's not even a good outcome card. It's not a negative, but it's showing her cups are reversed. So, oh, poor Heidi. It just feels like they're, they're going to work against her. Somebody just said this too shall pass. So Heidi is going to get hit, okay? I just got to tell you what I see. I can only do that. Okay, so that was North Dakota. Now Congress, uh, Dana Rohrbacher. Dana Rohrbacher. Who's running against Dana Rohrbacher? Will Dana Rohrbacher, who's a Republican, be voted out or somebody else win? I don't know who's running against him. Um, Dana. Dana Rohrbacher, what's your days like coming up? Are you comfortable where you're at? Dana. This is California, you guys. Ooh, he's crossed with the tower. Dana Rohrbacher doesn't look that good. Let's go. Justice will prevail. Um... Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups as the outcome, but the Nine of Cups is reversed, which usually means no to the answer. Um, it shows justice will prevail. There might be some money issues with him. So it's kind of yes, no. It's not 100% po positive, but I'm seeing a lot of stress cards, and I'm seeing cards about money. And I'm feeling legal issues with money. So even if he wins, he may be kick, kicked out because there's the money or there's an exposure on him. There's something underhanded. I think he thinks he's going to win. Maybe he's comfortable in thinking he's going to win, but something's going to come up. You know, when they, when they open that door on Trump, it's a lot of people will be part of this. Kevin McCarthy, he's a Republican. Will he win? Or will he keep his seat? Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. Kevin McCarthy. Here we go. Will he win? Ooh, he doesn't look like he'll win, you guys. No. he It's close, though, but he doesn't look like he's going to win. Not according to this, okay? And Daryl Isa, he, he vacated his seat. But will a Democrat win in the Daryl Isa seat, D49? Will another Democrat be able to take Daryl Isa's seat? Will another Democrat be able to take Daryl Isa's seat? Yes or no? Will another Democrat be able to take Daryl Isa's seat? Yes or no?
Yes. Looks very good. Yes. 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 Whoever it is feels young. Yes. <coughs> okay. So she didn't bring up um, uh, noons. Is it noons? No. Who's the one in Fresno, you guys? It's not. De is it Devin Noons? Yeah. Because the one in Texas is. Uh, is the one from, uh, yeah, Devin Nunes. He's the one that does those underhanded things. And I think I might've talked about him yesterday, but let's look at him real quick. And she also brings up the these people, and I read this, I can feel yes, yes, yes. Barbara Lee, I see her staying. Ted Lee, Lou, I see him staying. Adam Shift, she has a crush on Adam. My crush is Colin first, but you know, kind of look alike. And I do love Adam Schiff, and, but I don't see him being able to become president, but I see him big in the administration. And Eric Solwell, which I've always kind of thought he might be the one that wins as president. Uh, but we'll, as we get closer, I'll tell you guys, I gotta see all the, gotta have the lineup and then I'll allow the universe to tell me who's going to win. But let's look at Devin Nunes. I probably read him on him yesterday. I know I've read on him several times. Devin Nunes in Fresno. I worked a Hillary Clinton thing when she first ran in Fresno. What a wonderful town. Wonderful people. Devin Nunes. Oh, I just heard somebody say a, a very distinct no. I just heard that as clear as day. Well, Devin News. No. You know, I actually see. Let me let me ask this, okay? Let me do Devin News. Hello. No. He thinks he's gonna win though. Let me ask just generally, what's the Republicans, not all Republicans, because even though he likes to call anybody that goes against him a Republican, there's a lot of Republicans that are standing in well-being and know better, including Mueller. They know that this isn't right. They don't like lies like this. Um, what is the Republicans' attitude when... When or let's let's ask when this when this voting is done, let's look at the Republicans' energy, okay? Especially the Fox News. What is going to happen? Are they excited? Are they rallying? How are they going to spin this? What is going to happen? Okay, what can I tell everybody? The whole truth and nothing but the truth. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's not wonderful. Thank you. They're angry at the judgment. Um, they're battling. Yay! They're battling. They're battling the energy. They're trying to make sense out of it. They're picking up their swords and walking away. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So they're not trying to act like they're defeated, but they're definitely trying to say squirrel. What's the Democrats' attitude after the um, election? Democrats and independents. What are, are they rallying? Are they cheering? Democrat. See, because if you get too many Republicans that win that Trump ran around, he's got to know. Okay, hold on. Let me do, I'm going to ask something else after this. What's the Democrats' attitude with the November elections? Ooh. So we go into a state of well-being and victory. There's one person in particular we're really excited. We come out of the devil. We no longer feel we're, we're feeling in charge. Victory after burden. Okay? So I don't think... We're celebrating, but I also feel like um, it cost a lot of money, and we have more work to do. That's what I'm feeling. And it may be, we may not have gotten absolutely everything we want, but we got a good portion of it, okay? 
So my question is, Donald Trump, how does he feel? See, he got that Kavanaugh in office, so he thinks he's, like, he, did you see he's going to answer some of the questions? But he feels like, yeah, it doesn't matter what. They'll take it to Supreme Court and they'll cover me. And here's what I get, even though y'all, I'm not happy with uh, Roberts, but I don't see, I see Roberts not voting at, like, Kavanaugh. So I don't know what this is, okay? I'm just going to put it out there. I feel he has a consciousness, like he knows nobody's above the law. That's what I'm feeling. I could be wrong, which I have been on occasion. No, they just told me I'm right. Thank you. Okay. Now, how does Trump feel after this election? How does Trump feel after this election? He's sitting on his throne looking at the spilt cups. He's, his fortune is reversed. So it's not what he thought, actually. He's so delusional. And he's got those people feeding him, making him think he's special. This will actually kind of blow him out of the water and makes him fear justice is at the door. That's what he's fearing. Um, okay. So we had one last question because we're like 30 minutes out. This will be one of my longest videos. But I just want to ask real quick, you guys, because I won't see you till next week. Saudi Arabia. Will this poor man that was murdered, this Washington Post, will, oh, I feel somebody getting the goods on Jared. Whoo. Oh, Jared's in deep, you guys. Um, there'll be so much pressure. I feel like Jared going, I'm so sorry, you guys, I can't. Just like with Russia, you know, I know Putin is pissed off at Trump. And I don't even see Russia as involved in our election as before. It's almost like they're not going to put the money in because they're kind of pissed off at Trump. Not quite sure why, but... Um, the pressure is really hard. I can feel like this this energy doing this. This man who crossed, I think I see him. He um, he wants everybody to know he's okay. They did murder him, he's telling me. They, they actually made him suffer before he died. But he's happy to do it. Check this out. He said he's happy to cross because, you know, there's no such thing as death. Because justice will be served. And, you know, Trump loves dictators yeah he's selling his soul for money no no we can't we can't do anything they spent millions on my hotel what are you talking about hell no so he's and and jared you know that guy was online he has jared in his pocket so they're telling jared fix this they're telling jared fix this who doesn't feel this i i can feel it as clear as day it's all about money you guys it's not about being justified. Collectively, this man in Saudi Arabia, because he has so much money, is going to, I'm not feeling like justice will be served till we get Trump out of office, okay? Which is coming, so don't worry. But I feel a powerful energy form coming in, and it might even be national, I mean, international it feels like the truth will come out the power will be here to i even see a woman overseeing this so i'm sorry it's not right now and we can go in circles on this till the cows come home but it's it's not right now because trump has sold it he's not gonna and they're helping him they're helping him because they're, they're bringing in all kinds of money to the United States. So we can be bought. Bought and paid for, you guys. But that will change. So, um, you know, I, this guy, he makes these decisions. He's done these things that make no sense. So he's like, he's like Trump. He's bouncing off the walls. And, you know, in the meantime, 
Saudi Arabia is going to get hurt. And if, I think it's because of sanctions or something. We're just sort of going to cut them off. Okay. Which is sad because there's good people in Saudi Arabia. Okay, you guys. Namaste. Take care. Ciao.